Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. If this is your first time visiting then please make sure that you subscribe to the channel now and click on the little bell icon so that you never miss a new video from me. A massive percentage of um, people who watch my videos actually don't have their notifications turned on so they miss a few of my things which is never good. So if you do that now you will never miss anything. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to create this absolutely beautiful stitch combo and you can use this for anything you want. You can use it for scarves or blankets, table runners, literally absolutely anything. It's a really simple one row repeat, which is always a winner. And you get this gorgeous pattern at the end of it. Now I'm obviously just using some plain cream chunky yarn in this sample piece here. And it's up to you whether you want to um, square off the top, whether you want it to have a straight edge, or in all fairness, I'm going to leave mine just like this because I think the little points actually make a really sweet start to a border. So yeah, one row repeat and we're just going to jump straight in. The only thing that I would say is that whatever hook size your yarn recommends, go up a full hook size because it's quite a tight stitch. So I'm just going to be using some of this beautiful silky pale blue. So we'll be starting with our slip knot and then you're going to do your foundation chain in a multiple of four. So whatever width you want your project to be, you'll do a multiple of four. So yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, four. So if you just complete your desired width. So obviously I'm just doing a short sample piece here for you. So once you've got your multiples of four, you're going to add an additional three chains onto the end. So one, two, three. And we're then going to be working back and you're going to be using UK double crochets for the entirety of this project. So obviously UK double is a single in US terms. So into the fourth chain from the hook, you will insert your hook, yarn over and pull up and then yarn over and pull through both of those loops. So that's one UK double. Back into that very same chain that you've just worked into, you'll do another one. So insert your hook again, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. You're going to chain two, and then you're going to do two UK doubles into the next chain along. So you've finished working in this one, and you're going to do two doubles into the next chain. So one, I'm in the same chain, two. We're then going to skip two chains and then into the third chain, you're going to start your next set. So you're going to do two UK doubles into the same chain. You'll chain two and then two doubles into the next chain along. One and two. And you'll repeat it all the way along. So you'll skip two and then you'll do two doubles, chain two, and then two doubles into the next chain. One and two. And then again, skip two. So you'll repeat that all the way towards the end, which is where I'll meet you in a second. So I've just completed my final two doubles, chain two, two doubles, and then we're going to skip one, and then you're going to just do one UK double on its own into that very last chain. You're then going to chain three and turn, and we're going to skip all of these stitches, and you're going to be working into your chain two space, which is just here. So you'll skip all these stitches, and then all into this chain two space, you will do two UK doubles, chain two, and back into that same chain two space, two more doubles. So this time we're working the same stitches, but obviously we've got a chain space to work into instead of working into the actual chains. Again, you will skip the next stitches, so you'll skip four stitches until you get to your next chain two space, and you'll create your next group in there. So one, two, doubles, chain two, back in the same space, 
two UK doubles. Skip the next group of stitches, one, two, three, four, and then again, two doubles, chain two, two doubles, all into that same chain space from the row below. And again, you'll just repeat it all the way along and I will meet you towards the end of your row. I've worked that pretty much all the way along and as usual, Supervisor Keiko has appeared to judge my work. I'm pretty sure that that expression means not great, must try harder. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. Anyway. <laughs> so I've worked my last two doubles, chain two, two doubles into that final chain two space. And then you can see we've got those two stitches at the end and we're just going to work into that very last stitch. So you'll skip the next one and then into that very final stitch, you will just put a UK double. Can be a little bit fiddly this one. So that is your next row completed. So at this point, you will chain three. You can pop a stitch marker into the top of that very last chain if you want. Um, it might be really handy if you're not very confident about keeping your edges straight just yet. Pop a stitch marker through that third chain, that top chain. So again, we've turned and you're going to be working into your chain two space straight away. So you'll skip these stitches, find your chain two space, at the peak and you're going to do the same thing. So two doubles, chain two, back into the same space, two more doubles. One, two. Again, skip the next four stitches to get to your next chain two space, which is here, and do your next set of stitches. One, two, chain two, and back into the same space, your two doubles. And again, repeat that all the way along towards the end of your row. I'll meet you one last time, and obviously, because this time you'll be working into the chain three, not the final stitches from the foundation row. So I will just show you that in just a second. I've worked my final group of stitches into that last chain two. And so now at the end of this row, you can see we've got our two double crochets and then we've got our chain three. So you want to put your final double crochet into the top of the chain three. So you'll skip your two double crochet stitches and work into the top of your chain and do a final double crochet. And that row that we've just done is the row that you'll repeat as many times as you want until your project is the size that you want it to be. Like I say, I personally would leave my top edge like this. However, if you wanted to square it off and have a perfectly flat edge, I will show you how to do that now. You will chain three and then you will just put one double crochet into the chain two space, chain two, and skip all the stitches and one double crochet into your chain two space, chain two, skip to your chain two space, and do your double, and again, you'll just work that all the way along. Chain two, and then your final one into the top of your chain three. And you'll see that just gives you a straight edge for you to work up any additional border that you wanted to. But it's totally up to you. Like I say, I would personally leave mine with the peaks because then, especially if you're using the same colour to finish off whatever project you've done. When you complete your final stitch here, that could literally be your top border done around one edge and then you could easily turn your work and work the exact same process all the way down the sides of your blanket if that's what you were doing by doing your two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and you just space it out all the way down and then your blanket would look the exact same on all sides. So it's totally up to you at that point. But you'll just repeat it over and over again and you'll start building up something that looks like this and it can be used for absolutely anything you like. 
So I really do hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment to let me know what you think. But I will see you for another tutorial really soon. But thanks as always for watching and bye for now.